Katana 4 has a new lighting mode, improving artist workflow when creating and positioning lights. We can now create lights without having to move away from the viewer, as the new interface gives us more control and visibility over light parameters. Easily make use of keyboard shortcuts and mouse gestures to create lights, to adjust their transformations, their distance from the target, or their uniform scale. Different light positioning modes can help us place lights based on where we want it to fall on the surface, where we might want specular highlights, reflections, or where the shadows should fall. This gives us full control, allowing us to light scenes very efficiently and spend more time being creative. There are also tools to place lights according to the position of camera we're currently looking through, as well as duplicate selected lights. The cloning feature can be used to create a new light with the same shading parameters and scale as a previously selected light. Clone as template will create a template material that will be assigned to both the original and the new light. Therefore, if the template material sees a change, this will be applied to all lights that are linked to it. If there are multiple Gaffer 3 nodes in the scene, for example, like in a multi-shot lighting setup, this will be displayed in a drop-down list in the Hydra viewer. With the use of symbols, we can also see at which points in the hierarchy various lights can be edited from. This new lighting mode gives us a more interactive and easy experience when placing lights directly in the Hydra viewer. Mm -hmm.